Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. It has been a while, but I am again back with another video. And today's build, in my opinion, is one of the best I have ever come up with, and it is a casino. Now let me just start out by saying this does work in Java Edition and Bedrock Edition, so no matter what platform you're on, this will work. And let me start with a quick demonstration. So I have my casino set up to input gold and then output a chance of diamonds. I have dirt for the uh, negative item. And so as you can see here, if I open this input chest and I put in a gold ingot, I am spit out. And of course I happen to win on my first try. Let's try this again to show that I can lose. Um, I have it set to a 1 in 9 chance and I just so happened to win on my first try. But as you can see, every time I put one in, I am outputted an item just like that. Now one great thing about this design that still works in both versions is you can put as many items as you want. I'll do 15 and you can place them all in and it will not break at all. It will keep outputting and it will output the correct amount of items as you can see here. There it is. Now another great thing about this design is it does have an item filter built in so that when I put items in that are not my desired input item, which was gold, as you can see here I put in dirt, nothing is outputted. And if we come behind the build back here, you can see all my uh, trash items are put in here and all the items that were desired come out down here. And while we're down here, you can see that this build is very compact, being four blocks by four blocks by four blocks five on this dimension and this dimension if you count these input and output chests. One special thing to note about this build is this little layer right here with this repeater, as this only functions to allow what I showed where you can put in a lot of items and have it give you the correct amount in Java Edition. But if I hop over to Bedrock Edition, in Bedrock Edition with the same build, you'll notice that if I do the same thing, putting in uh, a lot of items in here, I will still get the correct amount of items. I put in 13 and I got 13 items in total back. But you'll notice that it is missing that stripe that was right here. And that is because of redstone torch burnouts that happen in Java that don't happen in Bedrock Edition. So if you're on one of the consoles like PlayStation, Xbox, Switch, something like that, make sure you leave out that stripe when we're going through the build because it is completely unnecessary. Anyway, now that we're back in Java Edition, let's get started with the build. The materials for this build are as follows. Three chests, three redstone dust, one comparator, two redstone torches, four hoppers, one dropper, some solid building blocks of your choice, whatever your desired input is, and whatever your desired outputs are. They can be anything you want, any mix of positive, negative, or anything in between. And then that additional part for Java will include two redstone dust and one redstone repeater. Now let's get on with the build. These are the dimensions you'll need for this build. If you're in Bedrock Edition, you'll need a 3 by 5 by 5 area, with the only block on the fifth Y level being your input chest right here. And this is on the far left, and then again all the way 5 blocks up. And then your output of your desired item is on the very bottom in this back left corner, and then 2 blocks up is the junk chest. Now for Java Edition, the chests are in the exact same spot, but you'll need one more on the width to the left. Now let's get on with the build. Once you have your area laid out, go ahead and place those chests that I showed earlier. So one in the back left corner, build up one block, another chest, then up another block, out, and then on top of that block right here. So you'll have a structure that looks like this. Then go ahead and break this block right here, but keep these blocks because we'll need them to place in the hoppers correctly. When we're placing in the hoppers, make sure all of them are facing outward like this. And so all four should look like this facing into the block outward like so. The next step will be to build out one block here and then a block up like this, and then two blocks out just like this. We will then place our comparator coming out of this hopper right here, with two redstone dust right here and here, and then a redstone torch right here. Now this component right here is the item filter, which will be filtering items from the system, and we will get to that towards the end. The next step will be to come out here, place one more redstone dust here into a solid block, 
with your other redstone torch on top and it should turn off like this. You will then want to place a block on top of this torch. This is very important for it to work. And then your dropper should be facing up right next to this like so. You can then place in the floor of your build right here if you so desire. And this will serve as to when the dropper actually fires, it can fire up through the blocks. Now if you're in Bedrock Edition, you are completely done. And if you're on Java Edition, all you have to do is come over to this torch here, build out a block, place a redstone dust, another block here with a three tick redstone repeater right here, going into a solid block with redstone dust on top in this mode, and then a solid block right here so this dust can power this hopper. Now with that, we can get to setting up our item filter and our output. And so if we come to this second to last hopper right here, this will be where we put in the items we actually want. And so I'll be using gold as my desired input. And so what I'm gonna do is drag it across like so, and then I'm going to take 18 in this first spot, just like this. And then if you notice, if I add one, it will go back down to 18 and you'll hear that dropper click in the background, and that should mean it's working. And then if we get rid of these blocks we had earlier, then we don't need those anymore. You can see that the gold is going in here, and one gold will be staying in this bottom hopper, but when you add one, one will come down here. One just stays in here initially. Now if we go over to our dropper here, we can put our desired outputs. I will put eight stacks of dirt and my one stack of diamonds. Again, you can make this anything. And then you can also, if you so desire, build out a hopper line like this as an input to your output, if that makes sense. And now if we come up to the top, if I place in a random item, we should see it go over to this chest. And then if I place in, say, three of our desired item, we should see one, two, three items pop out. One went a little bit flying off to the side there. Anyway, guys, that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe down below. And I'll see you in the next one.